Here is a first example of a multivariate distribution. In this particular case there will be four random variables x1, x2, x3, and x4 and they will have a multivariate distribution. Here is the problem. Let x1 up to x4 be the number of spades, hearts, diamonds, and clubs respectively in a five card poker hand dealt from a well shuffled deck. Find the joint probability mass function of x1, x2, x3, and x4. So what we would like to find here is the joint probability mass function of x1, x2, x3, and x4. How do we know this is a joint probability mass function and not a probability density function? The uh, random variables here are the number of spades, hearts, diamonds, and clubs in the five card poker hand. So naturally you would expect them to be discrete. The probability mass function in this case is the probability that the random variable x1 takes on the value little x1, the random variable x2 takes on the value little x2, x3 takes on the value little x3, and x4 takes on the value little x4. Now because the order with which the cards are delivered to the five card poker hand is not significant, you know that there are 52 choose five different poker hands out there. We've seen that one before. It's uh, a little over two and a half million. Now out of the 13 spades, you want to choose x1. And out of the 13 hearts, you want to choose x2. And out of the 13 diamonds, you want to choose x3. And out of the 13 clubs, you want to choose x4. And there is your probability mass function. One of the more difficult aspects of this problem is coming up with the appropriate support. So we have the four values and these represent the number of cards of each type in the hand. Each one of them can assume the values 0 through 5. But you couldn't have, for example, four spades, four hearts, four diamonds, and four clubs, so they have to somehow be limited. So we know x1 equals 0 through 5, and that's for i equals 1 to 4. But there's got to be another restriction that's put into place here. And so for the last restriction, we assume that when you add up these x sub i's, and that goes for i equals 1, up to 5, you will always get 5. And there is a typo here, that should be a 4, i equals 1 to 4, you should always get 5. And that is the appropriate support. Now this may look somewhat familiar here. This is what you might call a multivariate hypergeometric distribution. Now this multivariate hypergeometric distribution is a little bit misleading because it turns out that it's really only requires three variables here not four because once you have the number of spades, hearts, and diamonds pinned down you know exactly how many clubs there are. So really this could be reduced to a trivariate hypergeometric distribution by simply making this particular entry 13 choose 5 minus x1 minus x2 minus x3.